Hello everybody, my name is Shretex and welcome to Regiments, a game that is completely different than what I normally play. Now this game is based in the Cold War and it's kind of like a, um, I'm going to say, it's kind of in between like playing Company of Heroes and a game like Hearts of Iron. You kind of control, well in this situation, a regiment <laughs> um, in like a Cold War setting against like NATO versus the Warsaw Pact. I think this looks pretty cool, I'm going to just try it. We're going to see how it goes. Now, the game's kind of split between of skirmishes, which is kind of what you expect, just random game modes, and you just fight 1v1 or 2v2, whatever. Like, this is a standard RTS or whatever game mode. Operations seem to be a little bit different, where they go through, like, one regiment. In this case, we play as, I think it's a regiment that belongs to Eastern Germany. And you just do, like, a set operation, which lasts, like, multiple phases. You go to different regions, that kind of thing. But you got to try and maintain pressure while not destroying yourselves in horrible fire. So, like I said, this is going to be a let's try, which means we're going to play it for a few days and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, people like it. I'll play more. People don't like it. Then we play something else. <laughs> Simple as that. I was, by, by the way, just to uh, say... I do like Cold War games. There's not many of them on the planet, unfortunately. I don't know why. I think, like, my favourite one is probably based on the Cold War, not this game type, is going to have to be World in Conflict. That game is... Mwah! The story, the gameplay is just amazing. <laughs> I love it. They never made a sequel, though, which is really upsetting for me. But anyway, we're going to get jump right into it. Now, I'm going to play on just hard mode. Now, the reason being, I actually have a handicap playing this game. Because I have to use my brain. Which means if I play master mode, it's just not going to be fair. It's just going to be completely unbelievable. So I'll be playing on hard mode for now. And we'll see if I can actually survive the, the horror. All this stuff we're going to leave out as it is. Like the, the game has phases. And they last for like 20 minutes at a time. You can increase that if you want to. But we're just going to leave all this on basic so you can kind of see the experience. Now I'm not going to read all this. But just a very brief thing. that The war has not actually started yet. The um, We're playing as a Soviet era whatever regiment there is currently a traitorous element that has broken away from the soviet republic and they are trying to kill everybody <laughs> as you kind of say we're over here so we're gonna be playing as a loyalist and we're gonna be seeing if we can defeat them as we go on now just for the actual gameplay itself it seems there are what is this seven operations and whatever this is i don't know what this is it could be like credits by the looks of it or it could be like some kind of different type of mission i'm not sure but at least at the moment there are seven different operations in this game. So, to battle, let's do this. So, this game kind of works out, like I said, where you, splot, uh, you command a, a group of forces. Now, which I think is pretty cool, you can actually add different things. you got operational authority, which is kind of like your, your resource points, because it's not like a game where you have to build a base or you get supplied units just already. If you do well, you can get more reinforcements. Uh, if you do badly, then you're screwed. <laughs> but you can also call in, for instance, um, I can go here and I can call in additional task force that like come in help me. So I can call in, I don't know, this. Armor task force, level one. I get eight T-55As, which are tanks, by the way, if you're not aware. <laughs> or I can go over here and get a HQ in it, which buffs my units like um, efficiency. And also you can get like additional um, tactical things such as artillery, napalm, which sounds pretty terrifying, that kind of stuff. But anyway, so from the start, we already have kind of like a quite balanced army, really. We have like some supply trucks, some basic artillery, helicopters. I love helicopters, by the way. Some tanks and some infantry. I feel like what I'm missing is nothing. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So if we look through these, what would be the best thing? So if you're not familiar with NATO symbols, we can go through it when we play the game. Just quickly show people what's what. But I am kind of aware from playing games for the last 10, 20 years what these mean, <laughs> at least in a very basic way. Uh, okay, so we've got 100 points. I'm actually going to just buy... What am I going to buy? Let's go for the tanks, at least for the start. So the tanks will let me get additional tank squads. And eventually, if I keep leveling up, I get a variant of the tank, which I guess is just better. And some mobile artillery. So we're going to go for these guys. All in, sorted. And I have no more points to spare. <laughs> so um, with this as well, you can also just flat out upgrade these so they get the higher ranks. Also, you can get more deployment points, so you can have more of your platoon on the field at the same time. Tactical support means, like, how many um, times you can use abilities, how quickly it recharges. And supplies, it's pretty cool. It basically is uh, used for repairing and rearmament. We'll go through that when we actually go into the game. So, before I do anything else, let's just start the game, shall we? So, we are given an operation where there is a rebellion. There are some loyalist forces holding out, and we have to try and maintain the loyalist forces' position while pushing out the enemy traitorous units. I'm going to try and do this in two phases, so basically 20 minutes. 
times two. <laughs> so two events. The game has like random modifiers, which you can pick per phase. Um, so for instance, oh, this is really good actually. Ooh, so you can have bad events or good events. Now I did do a little test game on this one and I did actually find that I had three bad events and one good event. This time I got given two. So I'm going to pick the one that gives me additional five minutes in the field. So we'll click that and we go to the bad. Yeah, everybody, the map has loaded and here we are in the game itself. Now, I actually just got to quickly point out, we're actually not playing as blue team because we're playing as Warsaw. So we're actually the red guys. Now, I've seen the map, it's quite actually, it's quite a big map. It's quite large. If I actually zoom in, you can see the little units in detail as well. Let's go to these little garrison units. Look at these guys, they're adorable. Now, I think because the battles are started, you can't actually see the infantry yet. If I just tap it, nope, you can't see them, never mind. <laughs> now, there should also be little infantry guys in these little foxholes here, but this game is pretty awesome. So you can kind of see all the units in pretty good detail. Let's get our guys spawn in, shall we? Let's get some basic units going. Uh, let's get some... Yes, yeah, let's get some recon. Let's get some infantry. And I think that'll be it for now. So what our plan is... We have to make sure we hold the Loyalist location. The Loyalists are living inside this town here. They're going to guard all their little units. They're going to be in place. They're going to be ready for battle. If we lose these locations, we... I don't think we lose the game. But if I hold these points, I get plus 25 resource points per phase. Which is pretty handy. If I also move up and capture these victory points, I also get resources per one, depending on how hard it is to capture or how far away it is from the start of the map. Now, we're going to be trying to deploy and we're going to try and sweep our way through and get to our allied units. We've only got 25 minutes to do this though, so hopefully we can try and do it without losing too many units and our allies cannot die in, this, in the process. So I'm actually going to be attacking from this way here. Mostly because if I press C here, this is line of sight. I'm pretty much protected from the flanks because of all these forests. So I can really only get attacked from the front and at the same time, they can only attack me from one direction as well. I'm also going to deploy infantry into the village and the artillery to this location here. Now, the, everyone, they're using NATO symbols, so if you're not aware of them, we'll try and go from as we play. Like, these are mechanized infantry. Recom. Um, I don't know if it's artillery, but I think it's like short-range artillery. And tanks. I don't think there's really that many types in the game at the moment, so it's not like you have to learn a lot of them. It's just that once you get used to it, it's, it's fine. Okay, so we're going to move forward. We've got to be very careful, though. This game is very lethal. <laughs> if you get attacked by a tow missile, that tow missile is going to block your tank. It's pretty scary. So you've got to be very careful what you do. Now, I think the AI probably... Look at all that artillery they have. They've got three lots of artillery. That's ridiculous. I'm going to pull my helicopter. We're going to see if we can uh, sneak up on them with my helicopters and take down their heavy artillery. We've also got tactical points, which we get over time, which I can use to just deploy stuff across the map. I actually have our heavy artillery I could use to just attack them, which is pretty handy. Oh, we found enemies already. That was quick. Actually, change plans. So they have mechanized inventory and a tank unit. We're going to use the helicopters to take out the tanks. You guys here as well. There's a lot of enemies here already. It's pretty crazy, actually. Uh, can recon pull back? We don't need you anymore. You guys deploy and start shooting. So you can already tell this game's really lethal. I've already blown up this entire tank regiment. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Now you got to do quite a lot of stuff at a short amount of time here. It's actually quite a uh, fast-paced game when you get to it. Oh, you're being shot quite a lot there. So just quickly pause to see what's happening here. I've already run out of ammo, or slightly run out of ammo for my helicopters here. They've only got a set amount of ammo they can use. Now, you can always pull back units at any time. They use the supply resource to rearm, and they come back into the battlefield after a set amount of time if you want to redeploy them. I've also got HP on my vehicles. Now, vehicles can take damage. As long as the vehicles don't die, you can also pull them back and they'll be repaired and come back in. However, there is a problem if you lose a vehicle. So, for instance, I have three, is it like, what, five... Six, sorry, six uh, artillery here. If these guys lose two vehicles, I only have two in reserve. So you have to be very careful not to lose vehicles or you can actually just lose a unit altogether. Now, I know between phases you can, like, call in reinforcements with points, but you want to try and avoid that. Now, I'm going to play the game based on the philosophy or the assumption that the AI plays by the same rule set that I do. So I'm going to try my best to kill every single unit I can in the hopes that eventually I wear them down and I can just push him without having to worry about enemies fighting me. Uh, one thing I won't, I'm not sure about, by the way, infantry, green pips or grey pips if they're not deployed. 
I don't think there's actually a limit on inventory. I think it mostly depends on the vehicles, so I'm not really sure. By the way, look at these guys. They're pretty cool. Look, got an entire army down here. Okay, you guys, start firing. So, also, there's a suppression bar which affects stats, which are here, by the way. So, you can see I'm kind of a little bit suppressed, and now I've got 80% accuracy with my units. So, being suppressed makes you a lot worse at fighting. That's only, like, 20% suppression, and I've already lost 20% of my aim. That's pretty crazy. Okay, we're actually going to pull these guys back already because inventory normally comes with some kind of anti-air you can kind of see all the weapons down here actually these guys don't oh sometimes the most time they do <laughs> not in this case though are you guys in range they are in range so we're gonna let these guys fight duke them out now these guys are both mechanized inventory so most of their firepower is going to be from the actual infantry itself if we kill the inventory the apcs are not gonna be that powerful Look at these guys go. They're pretty cool. There is like a veteran sea system, which is pretty interesting. Uh, it kind of improves the stats and stuff, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, let's get you guys up the coast again. Actually, can you guys go this way to make sure there's no one coming from this direction? Now, as these enemies are in place, they're actually quite tanky. Uh, let's get you guys around here. I'm actually going to try and see if I can get them behind the enemy's armor. Because there is frontal armor. And side armor and stuff. So I go around the flank here. I can shoot them from the side and hopefully kill their APCs. Now we're also being attacked by the enemy's artillery. I can see where it's coming from, but not exactly where the unit is. So we're going to do a heavy artillery barrage to try and suppress that artillery. All right, where are they shooting? Okay, pull back. They can't. So it kind of works the same way I'm doing. They can see that I'm shooting artillery at them. So they're shooting directly where I am. If I move my guys out the way, they should lose their target. That's why I got to pause it. There's a lot of stuff happening in this game. <laughs> this game is pretty involved. Uh, now, actually, it looks like we've actually killed the enemy infantry, which is pretty handy. Uh, these guys are still have infantry alive, though, so we're going to push these guys forward, and they're going to change target. As for the artillery, switch targets to your rifleman over there. Let's get you guys over here, I guess. In the wood. Oh, there's something else. That was anti-tank as well. No, it's infantry again, it's infantry again. Oh, that was a good shot. <laughs> right in the head there. In fact, I'm going to pull these guys back because they're taking quite a lot of damage. And they've lost most infantry anyway. Uh, get Redeploy inside the vehicle, pull back. I've actually got a command, so I actually reverse backwards to keep the armor in front, which is pretty awesome. Once they get far enough back, we're told them to actually retreat and they just automatically leave the battlefield. Suppress that unit. Nice. Good shot, buddies. Good shot. So, so far, it's gone pretty well. We have pulled back some units here, but we actually haven't lost a single vehicle. I love the artillery. Look at this barrage. It's absolutely devastating. Okay, so we'll move you guys in a little bit closer. Just we'll start attacking there. My uh, recon haven't found anybody yet, which is curious. We're going to go inside to retreat. And we're calling the additional, the second BTR squad. So how this works, when they retreat, you get your points back and they eventually tick back into your total. Um, and also, if you need repair ammo or like armor damage, you get this from supplies. Which I think eventually you'll probably have a problem with, but right now we have loads of supplies. Are they shooting me again from range? Yes, they are. So now we have artillery strike. You guys move position again. We've actually lost vision range on those units inside. That's not good. Let's redeploy the recon around the other side of the forest. Yeah, these guys are a bit annoying with their artillery. They've the AI's invested in a lot of artillery. <laughs> hmm. Are they doing a smoke screen on me? Maybe that's my ally doing something. That's a bit strange. Yeah, I can't see the enemy that we have spotted before. We know there's one in there, but I just can't see them right now. I think they were here. So we're just going to do a blind artillery strike on that uh, area. They're here. That's a big anti-tank round. Yeah, they're there. Okay. Uh, you guys pull back to here. So just so you're a bit more at range. We've already got artillery on the way over there. I 
Nice. I don't think we actually need to use the inventory. I think we can just... Guys, deployed there. Inventory seems pretty good. Kidding, I have inventory. Oh, they're retreating anyway. It's fine. They're out of there. Okay, nice. We have got the first point, but we spent five minutes just taking one point, everybody. That's not great. Oh, they got a kill. Good job, guys. Good job. So I'm pretty sure the AI uses the same rules we do, so I've got to keep that in mind. So we're going to capture this point now. We need to try and identify what's here. Let's bring the artillery forward as well. So these guys have a range of 2.7. So in theory, they can see anybody already that's on that hill. But they might be in the forest bit. You guys will bring forward to the houses. And you can kind of look out there. The tanks will bring into the field. You seriously can't see anybody? Is there no one there? Interesting. No, there they are. Pull back. Stay where you are, guys. So there's two units, tanks and infantry again. We get the artillery to suppress the infantry and we're going to call in the helicopter. Actually, no, the tanks probably take care of themselves, I would imagine. It's 2v... Oh, they're under... Pull back, pull back. I don't want to lose any vehicles. I want to keep them alive. As they're pulling back, we're calling the helicopters to help deal with the tanks. These, by the way, just to point out, these guys do have anti-tanks, but it's not 800 meter range, so they had to get pretty close. <laughs> not something I really want to try and do. Where's my where's my helicopters? Pull back, guys. Nice. Good job, everybody. Good job. Okay, now we capture the zone. Let's move these guys in a little bit so they take some of the pressure away from the tank regiment. Look at this. I love the sound design of this game. These guys are devastating. I'll pop them when they miss. <laughs> Not so much when they miss. Very nice. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of uh, combat going over there as well. You've got to keep an eye on that. Uh, what is this unit here? It's not shooting at us. No, it is. It's mechanized inventory again. We're calling a heavy minute uh, barrage on this location to help us out. Actually, no, we probably should keep hold of it for now. Oh, we'll use it anyway. Whatever. It'll be fine. We're actually, running out of our uh, we're actually running out of ammo for both our tanks and our artillery. You can call in supply trucks that come and just remote remotely supply, but I'd rather just pull them back to get the HP re uh, repaired. I'll just so quickly point out, now my my old tank regiment's retreated, we get the points back and like I said, they eventually tick over into our full thing there. Nice. Okay, we're going to move the inventory in closer. We're moving the recon as well. We're actually already on the flank of these. Yeah, we're already on the flank of these. But it's pretty handy. Depress them. The just looking at this, I just didn't realize this earlier. The range is actually 800 meters, so we have to get these guys really close. Um, wait, ooh, well done. There's another button I can press that tells me... Where was the button? There it is. Range. I think that's not the range I'm looking for. <laughs> because it shows you multiple ranges, because I think that's the range for the machine guns, not the... Yeah, that's the machine gun range. So 800 meters. Oh, that's handy. So if I go here, would it tell me then? No. Getting it closer. Pull back. They ran out of ammo. Uh, they are in range. <laughs> Don't just stop out of range. They're in range now. Fire. There you go. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Okay, just because we're in a bit of a lull in the action, we're going to pull back. The, all these units here now. Actually, no, the, these guys are fine. We'll leave these guys here. Can you set up the recon here so I can see everything? Done. Good job, everybody. Good job. You guys pull in and grab the resource point. You guys pull back and repair. 
But so as long as I don't lose my vehicles, we pretty much just get this. We're fine. <laughs> it's just not a problem. So next up, I want to get Hill 90. And I want to start trying to support my allies. But also, we're going to try and send units to assist over there. Oh, actually, as there's nothing going on, let's use artillery barrage to attack their artillery again. We can also deploy a smoke screen to assist our allies so they don't get shot as much. And we can go from there. Okay, nice. Um, tanks come in as well. So that's actually going to make the AI move closer in, which may make some additional units assist with the attack there. But I actually can't see anybody, which is a bit disturbing again. Let's push for Hill 90 next, and we'll leave the Grove and the farm to later. We'll kind of swing around, because we can kind of assist and kill a lot of enemy units this way. Enemy spotted. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Mech and eyes. They don't know we're here, though. There's also some coming to attack me, by the looks of it, which is interesting. Uh, if we get you guys to... You guys support that. Mechanized infantry. They haven't deployed yet and they're going to be on open field, so we should be pretty good if we do this. Uh, let's also deploy the artillery back. And the helicopters come up as well. No, they spotted us, they spotted us. Pull back. Oh no, that's really bad for them. That's really... Oh, oh. We knew the, re the recon did their jobs, everybody. The recon did their jobs. This is not great. The enemy actually has a BMP, which is, you can tell it's slightly different because it hasn't got the three dots for the wheels. These are basically like the light tank evolution, like the infantry fighting vehicles. They they have some pretty cool powers. They actually have like long range anti-tank. They're pretty versatile in what they do. Really, we need to get artillery to suppress these guys, uh, which we can do right now. I'm not happy about this, but hopefully the artillery suppressed them quite soon. Uh, we'll also get the helicopters to focus on the BMPs. Oh, I forgot about the anti-air. Oh, just fire, just fire. Okay, we've got an enemy attack coming soon. Look at that damage. Ah, oh, the damage. Enemy destroyed. Good job, everybody. Good job. Okay, so we know for a fact that the enemy is in here somewhere. Can we attack with our artillery yet? Nearly. Oh wait, they can see them? I was hoping they'd be covered by the forest there. Never mind then. Okay, so instead, deploy right away and just start shooting back with the machine guns. Uh, tanks can start suppressing them. Kind of upset we lost that unit of uh, recon. We, we told them we were on a clean streak. Saying that though, these guys are under attack quite a lot. It's pretty bad. Yeah, so you kind of see infantry is a bit limited in what they can do, but they're great for ambushes. They're not an offensive unit. Get out of range, get out of range. Okay, the enemy suppress anyway, you should be safe, but I'm going to pull these guys back for good measure. I'm very cautious, don't blame me. <laughs> Okay, the enemy is trying to hit me with our... No, that's a smoke screen. Are they trying to block my vision radius so I can't see the enemy? I'm not sure, but something was happening there. Keep firing, keep, them, keep it up. Let's have a look. So, we know the enemy's got a lot of artillery. I think I've actually destroyed or injured some of them so they fell them back. Because I can't see any artillery being shot at the moment. I can see these tanks though, which I'm not happy about. And my AI hasn't really got any... We're doing an artillery barrage with sister allies. Okay, nice. The enemy is pulling back. Let's move the tanks in. Please kill that BMP. Nice! Good job, guys. Good job. We've got 15 minutes left. Did my artillery strike work? Kind of. Oh, there's, there's additional enemies there. Look at that damage. <laughs> yeah. That's infantry. 
they on hatchbacks? <laughs> Just, oh, they! I did not see them there. I did not see them there. There is an enemy unit inside the forest, everybody. I can't tell what kind of unit it is. It may have anti tank. It may have nothing. I have no idea. Uh, I guess we'll find out very shortly. They have anti tank. Okay. <laughs> back, 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 back. These tanks back. I, I do apologize for my cautiousness, everybody. No man will die under my watch. Well, the infantry maybe, <laughs> but not not the vehicle. No, I am a vehicleist. The mechanicus, crazy adepti. They will not be. <laughs> we will defend all the vehicles. This is where the religion started, in the Cold War. People didn't even know. Yeah, also, this barrage. Also, wait, why are you here? <laughs> That's a mistake, everybody. I don't want them to be this close. They're going to get suppressed like crazy in a second. So we got my artillery and the heavy artillery at the same time. We're going to call an additional tank squad and we're going to push up to the grove after this. There they are. Deploy. There's another unit. Infantry again. Oh, that's not good for me. I've messed this up. These guys are going to lose the vehicle. Uh, switch possession. Suppress the other unit so it doesn't kill my friends. Keep putting back, guys. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to use infantry yet, to be honest. Um, i got to figure that one out. I have more tanks coming, right? Yeah, I do. Wait, was there four tanks? When did you get more tanks? Wait a minute. Oh, this is my different. Oh, these are different tanks. Oh, uh, I'm piercing twelve gun two point four. It's a it's a the tank's not as good, but there's more of them, so I guess it's pretty useful for um, certain situations. You guys just fall back. You've taken some damage. Ah, oh, we kind of lost vision range of those units inside that forest there. Uh, we're calling additional units of helicopter and infantry. Let's get the uh, tank to start attacking the enemy there. Nearly every guy was in the corner there. So why are they not killing these units? Not sure what's happening there. Screw it. I don't want to lose this victory point. We might lose it if that unit doesn't win that battle. They have no ammo. Oh, well, that's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, I still can't see this in place unit. Did they retreat? Do you feel they may have? We're about to be attacked at some point as well. Okay, good to know. That probably come from this direction. We're going to get attacked in a second. I can tell what's going to happen. There you are. So I need recon. <laughs> recon is helpful, everybody. Cool. They're already suppressed. It's fine. I'm going to pull the infantry here, just so that they're very close range, so they can actually shoot back when the enemy gets close. Let's get the tanks inside the objective and start capping it. Um, we're going to pull back the helicopters right away, just to get the ammo back, and we'll use them again in a second. They're, they're, pretty, they're, just, they're kind of like a javelin in medieval times. Like you use them a few times and that's it for them. Okay, Hill Knight is mine. The attack seems to have stopped over here, so we're going to leave that alone. And we're now going to focus on pushing this way. This is where things can go horribly wrong, by the way. Um, actually, if you guys if you guys deploy here, the enemy will be in range when, as soon as they get to you. That's way better. That's how you use imagery, I think. Okay, now I'm going to deploy the recon 
here and we're going to edge them forward to try and see from the side what's inside this location. Uh, we have actually we've got enough supply to deploy more units again, but we'll leave it for now. There's no one here. We can't see anybody at the moment, which is kind of worrying. Get a bit closer. Zone capture. Hmm. We're gonna do an infantry push. <laughs> I'm sorry, infantry. You're the most expendable unit I have. I need to see what's inside the grove. Lack of recon is disturbing, though. Let's move these guys here so you can see, like, everything in this area. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, expendable infantry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it has to be this way. Enemy spotted. Two four attack incoming. We got a good position on. We got two flanking tanks attacking this guy, so it's okay. And the artillery. To be fair, we can probably just push into eight hundred meters and kill them quickly. There's a new attack on my allies over there, which I'm not happy about. But they're actually doing a pretty good job. They're doing um, some good damage there. Is it raining? Oh, yeah, it's raining. I'm going to pull the helicopter to help them out because I'm worried about them failing. Uh, so that's BMP reconnaissance and something else. Enemy destroyed. Very nice, everybody. Very nice. Remove the tanks forward to this position so you can shoot across this entire part of the map. There's artillery here! Yes! They didn't, they didn't retreat the artillery! What if they just aim the turret and they just shoot like in the face? <laughs> like, ah. That'd be hilarious. That's good for us because our artillery is a pain in the ass. If we kill it, it's, it's great. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. So I'm moving up to the grove and we push up to the farm afterwards. Now we can't see most of the farm. Uh, what I'll do, I'm going to use the recon this time to actually recon. <laughs> it's crazy strategies, everybody. We're using recon for recon. It's absolutely ridiculous. No one expects it. The local doctors hate it. Any spotted of some description. Zone Tanks. And infantry. Okay, we've also got ourselves some in-place inventory there. So we're actually going to suppress them with double artillery barrage and remove the inventory across and in. Uh, recon, you can pull back now. We know where they are. Remove the tank, because tanks are very susceptible to this. So we're going to kill them in a sec. Oh, we've lost. No, we've got it. We need the recon here, so don't we, to see what the enemy's doing. Nice! Good job, guys. Good job. More artillery? <laughs> they, I, I have hurt both their artilleries. That's great news for us. Okay. Uh, oh, there's an attack coming in. I forgot about that. And that must be what is happening right now. They're out on the open, though. This should be quite easy for our two tanks and helicopters to take care of. Uh, artillery, can you pull back to get more ammo? This is the attack that we got warned about a second ago, I think. Aim, everyone aim for the... Whoa, what was that? Was that anti-air? I think it was. No? No, it, if it was, it would shoot me again right away. I have artillery coming from somewhere, I think. That's not my guys. Uh, you guys pull back, though. Inventory out in the open is... That is anti-air. I thought it was. Okay. Pull back. Wait if you pull back to the forest line. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. 
Uh, can you pull back a little bit further so they can't see you anymore? Nah, you're going to get pushed like crazy doing that. Pull back. We can take that back in the next five minutes. That's why I'm getting to have it now. Anti-air, guys. Focus on the anti-air. I need these guys to deploy here. We deploy additional infantry because they're going to pull back in a second anyway. So we know there's an attack coming from this direction. If we move our guys up to the ridge. Five minutes remaining. There's five minutes remaining, everybody. Well, they're already there. Oh, this might be a mistake of the make, everybody. This may be a massive mistake on my part. Uh, dual heavy artillery there. We've lost our... Oh, I forgot about that. Got about that, I did. Uh, tanks pull back to... You have to stay there. You have to tank. You have to tank it. If we get suppression in quickly, it would be fine. Suppression! Suppression! Nice. These guys are in range. They have anti- They lost the anti-tank unit. Ah, oh, pull back then. You're useless. Well, actually, I guess you're not useless, but you can do stuff. Go and take a look at the capture point. Um, we're going to pull back. This is a loss. Ah, oh, no. Right at the end. It was going so well, everybody. Right at the end. That unit's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, we're completely outmanned here. Uh, everyone just pull back. You won this one, AI. Okay, we've got to try and recover quickly or we're going to be in a lot of trouble here. So they're going to push back in towards me. There's quite a lot of their units there, unfortunately. We need to try and wait on the heavy artillery till we can actually do it properly. Um, tanks in. Do they have anti-air? I just called the helicopters. I hope they didn't. <laughs> I can't remember if they have anti-air or not. Uh oh. Zone lost. I can see that game. Now, luckily for us, because we're on a hill here and we're only attacking now, we are in range of our anti-tank weapons. So we actually have a chance of killing these tanks. Also, if they're suppressing even better. Oh, the helicopters! Oh, of course. Yeah! We can take the growth back. We've got two minutes. One unit down. Good job, guys. Good job. Um, focus on the infantry, guys. Uh, also... Sam's attack infantry as well. The tanks are dead anyway. We've got beautiful units here. Ah, no. I don't like, I don't like how I try and dodge the missile like it's actually going to help the game. <laughs> it's not going to work that way. <laughs> Quickly, guys! Bank left! Press. It's fine. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Two minutes. Helicopters pull back. Um, no, we'll spend the rest of the ammo. Oh, God. This game's taken years off my life. They pull back.
Is there a speed on these units I can see? Uh, we're possibly 75 miles per hour, maximum speed. 70, okay, they're all the same speed. That's fine. Okay, good job, everybody. Okay, push forward. We're going to try and take the grove and the farming right now. This may not work, but we're going to try our best. Oh, if I pull this off, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Last second double capture. That's the plan, boy. That's the plan. Use the roads, buddies. Use the roads. I don't care. Go, 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 guys. Recapture. Recapture. If you let me down, I'm going to be very unhappy. Don't let me down, game. Don't let me down. It's going to take too long. It's going to take too long. Can we at least make it neutral? Okay, that one's fine, I think. That's neutral now. Do we have enough time to make this neutral? I don't know if we do, to be honest. Uh, what, well, we've got two tanks. Um, we're going to call in a second infantry squad over here. Well, I've got loads of points. Oh, it's because I haven't deployed the helicopters. That's fine. We're going to do a big push in the morning when we attack anyway, so. Oh, give me the 25 points game. 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 Stop it. No. 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 Zone capture. Yes. <laughs> Victory. So. That was a phase in operations, everybody. It took me quite a long time, actually, but we're going to do the second phase anyway, just because we can. Um, that was really fun. I really like that. Now, I didn't do that great, to be honest. I did a pretty awful job when it comes to capturing land, but what I did try and do a lot, which you can kind of see up here, I focused hard on what I said at the start. I went for killing the maximum amount of enemies I possibly could. We lost four vehicles. I think we lost a recon, a tank, and two infantry vehicles at some point. Uh, does it say where I lost those, actually? I don't know, but that went, that went really, really well for us. Hi, everybody. Apart from all that, that is going to be it for this first episode. So uh, as the game is kind of split into phases, we're going to try and do at least two an episode. But unfortunately, with this first one, because I spent time doing the intro and also I had a 25-minute phase, it actually ended up being like 45 minutes long anyway. So we'll leave that as the first video. I'm only going to be doing the first operation in this game, so I'm not sure how long it would probably take me. Probably like two or three episodes. If people like it, we'll do more. If people don't like it, then we do something else. But I probably just end up playing this game by myself in my own time. But anyway, apart from that, as always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.